Hello and welcome to Airport SEO Alpha 34 and the R&D update and boy am I excited for this update maybe the most longed for so far in the development of this game at least for me I would say because this brings gameplay to a whole new level at least hopefully I haven't played this yet so you will get to see my first reaction on this update and everything with it and as I said, it brings a lot of gameplay changes into the game and I will love to show it to you here. So here are shortly some of the points that is in this update. So if you want to read through this text, well, pause the game and read through it because we will dive into the game straight off. And we'll start from the start because that is needed for a lot of the features here to work properly so we'll do a new adventure here as it's called and i will set up the ceo and everything like this and come back to you here very shortly so this is a new bit a new map and uh, definitely an upgrade from what it was i would say and uh, we will start just like we always do here in uh, airport ceo close to where I live so we will start our airport somewhere around uh, let's see here somewhere around here so close to New Shopping Stockholm New Shopping and we'll call the airport what my closest airport is actually so uh, we'll call it Skasta International even though uh, our airport definitely isn't called Skasta International, it's just Skasta and uh, we'll be happy with that. Uh, we'll pick the regional uh, airport logo and I think this is new, so that's pretty nice. And speaking of uh, new things in the game and the management mode and gameplay and everything like that, starting cash is going to be quite key here and I don't want it to be too hard like it was in the first series or the first season that we did of airport sale but I also don't want it to be super easy we are after all a raw slow gaming and, and, and I like to show you how I play the game and how the game is supposed to play so to say without all of this fluff cut out I want you to show you the whole experience not only the best part or the highlights uh, that you can see on uh, any other channel really <laughs> or if you're looking at uh, well the shooting games I, I, I can't even find the word for Fortnite <laughs> the most popular game out there but uh, finally found it after speaking gibberish forever so I think we will start with uh, moderate here and actually I did do this just minutes ago but the mic didn't work and I couldn't do a voiceover for some reason so I gotta do it again here uh, so we'll launch here and that time it actually was picked moderate that time also but we started with 3 million in cash so I don't know if that's a bug or if just something happened when we launched the game uh, but we'll see that now when we launch the game here if we get 2 million or 3 million nonetheless very excited to show you this game and uh, we'll start off quite similar to how we did the last time and we do start with 3 million here again uh, so that's all right and we'll start the introduction or we'll actually no we'll not do this and uh, we'll just there we go uh, tutorial so we'll prepare for construction and everything like that uh, we will do something similar like we did last time around and apparently it's snowing here in the new shopping well it is a bit of a cold <laughs> at the moment more cold than it's been a while but it's not really winter as it's supposed to be uh, so I need to speak straight off about the new system the new airport rating system that is going to be vital in pretty much everything we do uh, so as you see here we have a couple of more uh, icons here for our rating and uh, we have one 
average airport satisfaction that is averaging everything and as you see everything is built up into smaller categories at, and at the moment of course we only have general aviation or going to have we haven't got anything at the moment uh, but we will dwell into the details here a lot more uh, further down the episode probably near the end but one key to note here is the quality of infrastructure uh, so going with asphalt from the start will will be better than doing grass pretty much so it will be a, a little bit of a higher running cost and everything like that but we will do grass or not do grass we will do the opposite we will do asphalt uh, no matter what and uh, we'll place this as long to the side as we can uh, we'll see if we'll uh, going to do something else with it sooner or later uh, we'll put in this guys uh, we'll do taxiway we can do three wide should be more than enough uh, and I actually put in all the things here uh, that we need and doing it uh, a little bit faster than I did last time around and we'll just place the small ATC tower here close to the construction and everything uh, that is also new working in a new way it doesn't really matter where we put it I said I think we'll uh, demolish a lot of it and redo but as you see here the ATC, ATC tower now actually makes sense and make a difference on how many flights you can handle per, per day so our small control tower means we can handle 25 flights per day uh, so actually most time around when the sound didn't record we put up a lot of stands maybe more than is really reasonable and any use for uh, so we'll see here if we do something else so we'll do parking stands here in asphalt again uh, but how many stands will we do so i think we'll start with from the top with general aviation uh, and have the terminal going from here really maybe or will we or will we have the terminal going from here maybe Mm, yeah maybe uh, so we'll start from the bottom uh, we'll leave a bit of space for uh, a commercial side so doing five here uh, will be enough and then we'll do three up top here and leave this space blank for now for some commercial stands further down the line uh, i think that might be smart and yeah setting everything up here before hand since we do have we have played this game before so uh, setting things up as smart as can be or at least i'm hoping that it that's the case and uh, so to make this look beautiful we will put in uh, the service road junction or uh, security checkpoint over there uh, we tried this last time around putting it straight towards here that didn't plan out that nice uh, of course now we are not really having space for other things that we need and that is what is that well it's a fuel depot well we can fit it this way instead so uh, that's all right and that's what we'll do and then we'll need a vehicle depot later uh, we'll just put that in on the opposite side of the basic fuel depot and i think that's pretty much it what we are going to need here for doing the first tutorial for general aviation so setting up a runway uh, i suggest putting it straight to the side to have as much space as possible uh, for future extensions and uh, or expansions and everything like that and try to plan smart uh, instead of having to redo everything but i probably should redo things more than i have done uh, before so we'll try to add that in in uh, this series a lot more to re redo and rebuild and redo it smarter uh, than before 
I said I haven't been that great at doing that, but uh, I said run away to the furthest to the left and then just do uh, the taxiway runaway exits entries at the tops and then do like three wide taxiway is more than I needed and then you can do just how many small stands you want for general aviation if you want to do that and like this the easiest shortest road you can fit in with the secure checkpoint the basic vehicle depot and basic fuel depot and then you can put the down on ATC tower pretty much everywhere wherever you want to uh, so that's set up now we just need to sign a few contracts uh, or one contract to get uh, some workers in here if you can build everything for us so we'll check that out uh, we will go with Brickley here and we actually got a lot more uh, contractors than we did last time around we got maximum around 90 or something like that uh, still same wage though so that's pretty good five dollars per hour for the constructors is actually really really good so while we're waiting here for uh, the well airport to be built a little bit uh, do remember to smash that like button and check out the game uh, developers aopsis studio uh, their twitter their uh, steam steam uh, <laughs> steam page workshop everything uh, the game is out of course and you have a link in the description where you can buy it for a fairly good price if you want to and uh, you will also supporting me as a content creator and the channel by doing that so if that's something you want to do uh, do that and um, do check out their forum and their twitter they are pretty darn good at uh, updating you with their latest news and everything like that and they also have a semi or bi-weekly uh, blog that they update with uh, well, I guess this update, for example, news about it. I just missed sort of when this was released, actually. So this was released three days ago. So a little late on the ball, uh, but trying to do my best to get this out as soon as possible. So actually recording this uh, this evening and getting it out uh, tomorrow, which is something I'm not really usually doing. Usually I'm recording like maybe at least a week ahead of time or something like that. Uh, but not this time in this case. So hopefully it will be nice to get it out here, there on uh, on the web. And I hope you will enjoy it. And speaking of enjoying it, if you're enjoying it, smash that like button uh, for my channel also. If I didn't say that already and if I did already said, say that, Sorry for doing that, but uh, yeah, do that and that will be very grateful for uh, getting noticed on YouTube and uh, everything like that and uh, also getting likes on the video tells me that you're enjoying it and do leave comments if you have them, questions, anything, I read everything and reply to pretty much everything also. And if you haven't also yet, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and follow along on our journey here in Airport CO, uh, a very new se special season here and hopefully we'll do right this time and uh, work it out. So, as we I saw that I missed a little bit of service road, so we're putting that in uh, at the moment. And this will have to be demolished later if we put the stands here and, or whatever we do. So kind of a nuisance that I did it this way, uh, but still it's the way it's got to be at the moment at least. So then we have the taxiway pass that we need to add in as well. So we'll just get that in. And that's no cost as is here. So uh, last time around, I did a mistake and went in with the pro tip. So I will just tell it here again. So if you misplace wherever you are putting an aircraft pass, uh, just uh, or taxiway pass, you just can press Control to get the demolition tool. So it's quite nice instead of. Uh, going uh, to this demolition or build those tool you can also read that you can use 
control to do that there, but still, uh, it might be a little bit harder to to understand or see that. And then let's open the runway. Uh, we'll send off all contractors because they are costing us money. Uh, we'll enable the airport and. What more did we have here? Proactive cleaning disa the disabled and proactive repairs disabled. So this is new for maintenance. Turnaround service is the same. Uh, we should allow a general evasion also. Uh, it's a key thing to do there. Uh, we should set up for uh, fuel. So we need to sign a fuel contract. So let's press the contracts. Uh, we'll do the three star contract for fuel. Uh, that we got there, one and two and three stars straight away. Don't know why we get three star contracts on fuel straight off. Uh, feels like a little bit cheaty, but uh, that's very fine by me. Uh, we'll do two fuel trucks, not five. Five will kill us, but uh, we'll do two. And that's probably a little bit of an overkill as well. Uh, but hopefully it will be good. And then we should have our first plane come in here pretty soon. No commercial stand. Yeah, I know that, so that's fine. And flight monitor. I guess we can speed it up here just to see our first plane come in. There we have it. Uh, so let's check it out. And it's a flight from Karda Airport from Estonia. So the new map is in uh, this window as well. And one of the updates they've done for this Alpha 34, uh, which uh, also is something that I should notice, I feel uh, the game plays very much more like a um, beta. At least this is still considered early access and an Alpha, but uh, in my opinion, a very stable and nice game. Uh, a little bit lacking in features, but they are very much coming along right now. Hopefully, uh, as I said, I haven't played further with this game really so far, but uh, what I'm seeing so far, I definitely like, and I think, as I said, it's more of a beta state, state than uh, an alpha state. So if you haven't been on the fence before to try out this game, I think now might be the good, a good time to do that before uh, the price eventually maybe rises for, uh, for this game. So... Anyway, what I were saying that they were doing here is that they have changed the map uh, and also taken a fan database, so to say, of airports and used that to properly set uh, the routes or the where yeah the routes of the planes that are coming in better, uh, which is pretty nice. So more a realistic one. So this one coming from. Gothenburg and of course leaving to Gothenburg as well and this is a Piper PH28 Cherokee and uh, that is also something I said last time around we haven't been that great in uh, watching the planes in detail and that is something that we should be doing better so here is the plane in detail and as you see you can zoom in tremendously much and the details are so nice you can almost make out this text and you have all this kind of uh, bolts on the air airplane on the wings and on the airplane and um, the lights and just everything uh, i really like the, the art style that i have gone for in uh, in this game i think it's pretty darn lovely and uh, more things with it uh, so a uh, new aircraft here, or another aircraft, so we should check that out. Uh, coming this time from Vesterlandsylt Airport, so a funny airport name in there, according to me. Uh, and yeah, that doesn't look like Germany, that looks like Denmark, but uh, fine. Uh, so what is it? It's a Beechcraft Baron 58. So this is definitely a larger general aviation uh, plane, I feel like. And what is this then? All right, so just a different color here on that button for allowing uh, night flights, uh, general evasion, 
is something that we do have there. Uh, so I need to remember to to uh, um, repair the stance also here in this game, or uh, yeah, in, in this game, so to say, uh, because of uh, the rating here that are going to change a little bit, hopefully. Um, in this episode or throughout this episode for now we are just oh we need a fuel truck or the fuel truck didn't come the fuel truck did come yeah we need to enable it first it this this uh the tutorial can be good sometimes so we're waiting for it to refuel five planes and we're almost having a full airport here, so that's pretty nice. Uh, can we see how many planes that we are having here? Out of the capacity? That would be uh, interesting to know, actually, due to our ATC tower. Dashboard, how much do we have? Security, how is security up? Don't know that. So we have processed one general evasion flight. We actually have an airport worth here and a CE worth. Airport C worth times the current average airport rating and monetary score of the worth of an airport CEO. All right. All right. So some new stats here. That's pretty nice. And like graph and some mail here. And uh, this is really tough to be airport of the year awards average airport rating of 95 percent over three years that's quite crazy here only throughput of at least 10k passengers that's no not so hard and a yearly turnaround of at least 150 aircraft that's not either too bad and then we had some uh, some complaint there uh, we apparently have a performance report option here and we should hire a CFO and a COO according to Alejandro Tindo and uh, I guess we might do that or should do that pretty soon so forced to go around well we shouldn't really really be coming in at the moment, I don't think I have enabled um, night flights. No, I have nothing about night flights, so uh, don't know about that. Just gotta check this out. Uh, or uh, one of the planes here coming from uh, only from a Vesteros apparently, uh, a Piper J3 club so this is definitely very much general aviation and uh, what sort of planes you should likely see at a general aviation airport i would say very small planes that fitting one or two persons and coming in like this so this is a neat detail and i said you can zoom in so much and see every darn detail so very very nice and another westland flight and this from Norway, actually, Haugesund, and Brest Airport, Belarus, and Germany. Had a lot of Belarus flights uh, last time around, and one from Finland here. So this time a little bit more dispersed, and importantly, more realistic ones. So that's the main point here. And we're actually already up here on uh, on the general aviation at the moment. Uh, average of 67 percent uh, that is the current and the average is over a bit of time so uh, that works out pretty nice so let's uh, do remember to repair pretty much everything here just before we end off this episode uh, because i said quality of everything is one of the things that is key here now in the game so Hiring a CEO to repair everything at the uh, top state and early might be a thing that we will definitely need here pretty soon. With that said, check out the game, check out the devs, check out the Twitter, check out everything. And I hope you have enjoyed and 
watched or enjoyed watching here this episode on my channel with that said thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time here on the channel hopefully thank you and bye bye you have been watching rosco gaming and i hope you have enjoyed on clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right or latest upload to the channel and with that said thank you again for watching